so today I'm going to be doing a first impression video and this stuff has been out for a little while but I was curious to try it anyways so what we are doing today is the Ramel Stay Matte stuff so this I've tried before the Stay Matte powder I used to use this like as a staple but I have not tried the Stay Matte Liquid Mousse Foundation yet. I was going to do the foundation and the powder, but they were out. No, no, no. The primer. But they were out of the primer, so we're just going to do it like this. So right now, all I have on is some concealer under my eyes. And I'm sorry, it's still really echoey in the house. This room is like my beauty room like I mentioned before so it doesn't really have much in it. I think I'm going to put like a couch in here or something to kind of absorb some sound but oh well. So let's get started. I'm going to be using a wet Real Technique sponge because this is just what I like to use and I'm standing right now so it feels weird to like put makeup on like this because normally I sit at my vanity, I got the shade 100 Ivory. Um, I, there was a lot of guessing involved. It's not coming out. Yeah, okay, all right. It seems really thick. Was that too much? I don't know. I'll try not to block you. I always block you guys. <laughs> okay, that feels like very goopy. Is it supposed to be this goopy? Normally I would just like dab a foundation in, but I feel like it's not going anywhere. Now we're getting somewhere. We're getting somewhere. The, I don't know. The consistency so far kind of reminds me of like the Ulta's brand. Have you tried that? The, what is it called? The like demi matte foundation. But this is so much thicker than that. But it seems like now that I have it moving, it's blending out okay. And I think the color actually matches, surprisingly. Nothing ever matches me anymore because I don't know what color I'm supposed to be. I don't have bronze or anything on, but... I think that looks decent. Obviously, I'm under lights and stuff, so you guys can't really... <laughs> I don't know. I think it looks nice, though. I was, I'm kind of surprised, and that, like, blended pretty quick. I don't even know if I'll have to, like, speed up through that. Okay. Cool. That was really easy. So, let's get... I shouldn't be talking with my back to you guys, but... Let me grab a powder brush. So I'm going to use this like tapered kabuki little brush to set my eyes. I got this in transparent. In the past, I've used like transparent and I've also tried the colored ones. Um, but I'm always like messing with my color with self tanner and everything. So I just wanted to get the transparent one even though it kind of leaves like a cast, I think. I always like to get in my nose too with this and my chin. I'm going to take my regular powder brush from the air brush powder, air, air brush powder from It Brushes for Ulta. I think it came in like a kit, but I'm pretty sure you can buy it separately. And I'm just gonna, you know, get the powder on everywhere. Okay, so I think it looks nice. For being like a drugstore foundation, I'm kind of straight away from a lot of drugstore stuff. I think it does look good. You guys can see what's going on. It's, it's like a little bit, it's not cakey looking, but you can kind of see it. My skin's texture is terrible because I haven't been like aggressively washing my face the way Okay, I shouldn't say that. I haven't been exfoliating the way I normally do, but I do like how it looks. So, I'm going to finish the rest of my makeup, probably film a couple more videos, and then I will do check-ins throughout the day. I'll probably bring this with me to do touch-ups, too. Alright, so quick update. I finished the rest of my makeup. I feel like I haven't seen myself with brows in a really long time, so I haven't been doing my makeup, and I feel like, they, I don't know, they look a little bold, but... I feel like everything sat really nicely on top of the makeup. It doesn't feel like tacky or anything. I feel like my highlight and everything um, sat nicely, like it didn't cake up or anything like that. So yeah, 
and it's gonna be like 90 today and I have a lot of errands to run so we will see how well it actually holds up I'm gonna bring the powder with to touch up and stiff but yeah okay so a first update before I leave to finally go run errands it's been about four hours I haven't touched anything up yet everything is still where it's supposed to be and going well so it is pretty much the end of the day now i have some weird light going on but and my hair is crazy but everything actually held up like really well or my hair so i had sunglasses on when i was in the car maybe you can see better and it didn't really even leave like a sunglass print i have kind of creasy under eyes but i think that was my concealer and it's stayed on pretty well it's starting to get just a little like goopy in the crease of my nose but i only touched up once and i did do a really light dusting of powder over it this morning so overall i'm actually really impressed with this stuff i feel like i kind of ignored it when people talked about it the first time because i tried one other foundation from Ramel and it made me break out like a really long time ago so I'll have to keep an eye on that. I'll have to leave in the description box if anything bad happens. But so far, or at least for like occasional use, if it does kind of break me out, I really, really like it. So that is that. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I kind of want to do more um, like first impression review kind of videos and stuff. So if there's anything that you guys have been curious about, let me know. I have a couple other similar videos that I just hit myself in the face that are going up, a couple lipstick videos, well you would have seen one already probably, and then the other one will go up later, I haven't filmed it yet, but anyways, yeah, <laughs> I don't know, don't forget I have Instagram and Twitter if you guys want to keep up with me over there, and I will talk to you guys later on, bye.